welcome back to the channel i'm so excited for today one i have the best lululemon haul for you guys transitioning into fall um and then two rue and winnie meet each other today so i'm very excited for that vlog i got my package in from lululemon yesterday and i wanted to start off the video with a quick little haul from them um before we get in the car and go pick up winnie she is in georgia so we have like a three hour drive um, and then Rue and Winnie will be best friends, right? Update on Rue, she is um, growing really fast, right? Say so I'm really big. Yesterday we went to the vet and I was 22 pounds already. Big girl, big, big, big girl, but she's doing so good. So, um, okay. Also wanted to thank Blue Lemon for sponsoring this video, which is just crazy. Every time I work with them, I get so excited about it because it's a brand that I truly am like absolutely obsessed with. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Everything that I mention um, in this little sit down haul, I will link below for you guys. I'll also put my sizes. I feel like sometimes I size up in things, size down in things. I'm just obsessed with Blue Lemon because I feel like they're great pieces, especially me like working from home working for myself, whatever. I always am in comfy clothes and I love how I can work out in all my Lululemon stuff, but also wear them on like a day-to-day -day basis. And they have such great like athleisure and all that really good stuff. So first up, I'm actually wearing this long sleeve tee. I got this in a size 10. Can we not, can we just sit down right now? Thank you. I got this in a size 10 and it's this really pretty like um, lemony color. It almost looks white, but it's like a little bit different. So I really liked this new color. I'm obsessed with these shirts. I actually got it in a long sleeve too. And I actually got this one in a 12. So this is a 10 and this is a 12 because I love, I'm taller. So it's hard for me to find like oversized tees, but I love these because they're like the perfect thickness. They're like airy, still like movable, breathable. I don't like a huge thick cotton shirt. So I got this one in white and then this one in like the lemony colors. You can kind of see the difference in the colors and I'm obsessed. This is the all yours tee and this is the all yours long sleeve. I have it in like every single color, gray, black, all that. And they're just so good to always put on with biker shorts and stuff. I love wearing mine with biker shorts because like I said, it does cover my butt and it's so, so good. So I got that. I also picked up this tank top, which I love. I actually have this in black as well and I just love the fit and the material. It's just like hold you in. I wear a sports bra underneath. I actually have on this Lululemon sports bra, which I love. It's my favorite one. And so I'll wear this under, or the sports bra underneath this. And this is a really pretty purple color. I normally stick to neutrals when it comes to working out, but I really loved this color. I saw it online and I was like, cute. So I got this in a size, oh, we can't get on the bed quite yet. <laughs> She's like big, but doesn't know how to like use her body to jump up on things. It's like the funniest thing. Um, but I got this in a size four and it fits like really nice, tight, holds you in. I love it. For working out if you're someone who doesn't love to work out in just like a sports bra this is a great option for like more of a full coverage but not hot situation okay next i got these jogger sweatpants which i am so excited to share with you guys lululemon has the best joggers i feel like every time i want to get ready and wear like kind of a cute athleisure outfit or if i'm getting ready for like a game day but it's cold and i want to be comfy i always lean towards Lululemon joggers and I also love them for like walks. I never really wear joggers for like F45 or like a high impact class. I prefer more of like a legging, but when I like walk and take the dog on a walk or whatever, joggers are the way to go. Travel outfits, all that, they're, they're just so good. And Lululemon does joggers so freaking good. So I got these in a size eight, I sized up. I normally wear a four or six in their leggings, but I just love my joggers to fit oversized, but I just love how they fit. They have like a little, um, jogger tight ankle and then they also zip so if you want to like open them close them over like uggs or something really cute drawstring waist and they're just like really breathable and comfy i actually wore these in new york one morning running to get coffee and they were just so stinking cute so this puffer i am so excited about i got this in a size what size is this eight and this is the Wonder Puff Cropped Vest. And if you guys remember last year, I actually got this exact like um, line or style in the long puffer coat in the green. And I still have it and I'm going to wear it when it starts to get cold enough. But I'm obsessed with this puffer. Um, I'm a big Aritzia fan and they have puffer vests. But I will say 
This one to me is way better than any of the Aritzia TNA puffers. Um, the jacket and the vest, Lululemon, theirs is just so freaking good. I'm obsessed with it. I just love the fit. Bottom cinches in so you can get like a tight like little bubble situation or you can let it out. It's like just really soft and cozy. Zips up and then there's also a, I can show you guys, a detachable hood, which I normally don't leave the hood on unless it's like really cold out. So I love that this comes off and it's just like really easy to take on and off. It's a button. So obsessed with this, you guys. So cozy and I feel like, I, I could be wrong, but I feel like any time you put a vest over an outfit, it's automatically cuter. So I love this for every day to day, running out of the house to grab coffee, running to your workout if you don't want to put on a full coat, but you know, it's chilly outside. Um, football games, if it's like kind of the in-between weather where it's like you're a little bit chilly, but you don't want to bring a huge coat. I feel like a vest is the way to go. This is also great for like runners. I'm not a runner, but if I was, I would wear this so your arms don't like really get too hot, but you're still warm on the inside. So this is like 10 out of 10 worth the money. I can't rave about this enough. And I remember last year I shared the green jacket and I remember some of you guys got it and were like so obsessed with it and then it sold out for a little bit. So if you like any of the jackets or puffers, grab them now before like the really cold weather hits because sometimes they're sold out for a little bit in certain sizes and stuff. So definitely grab it while you can. That is everything that I got from Lululemon. Um, I also want to link a few of my like staple pieces below. Like I'll link the sports bra that I was wearing. I'll also link my favorite biker shorts, the Wonder Train and then the Wonder Train legging. The best legging and biker short ever. I feel like I have tried so many brands, you guys, and nothing is better than that, I promise you. So try them out if you're looking to like get some new athleisure, workout stuff for the new season. Check them out, everything will be linked down below. And again, thank you Lululemon for sponsoring this video. Such a dream come true. I'm obsessed with the brand. So I feel so thankful and I wouldn't be here today without you guys watching. So I just wanna say thank you to everyone watching. I love you guys and that's all I can say. I don't even know how to thank you guys. I'm gonna make a little coffee and then we're gonna get on the road. I'm actually gonna leave Rue in the crate because Dylan will be able to come let her out. She has been doing so good in the crate, you guys. Um, sleeps in the crate every night when Dylan and I go to bed around like, it's been later because he's been getting home late. Um, like 11 o'clock, she sleeps until eight o'clock and doesn't cry and then she'll cry. I'll take her out and then I'll like either put her back in the crate for like an hour if I want to sleep in a little bit longer or I'll put her in the bed with me. But I'm so anxious and like excited, but anxious um, to see how Winnie and Rue act together. I know a lot of you guys have been DMing me saying like two dogs is obviously better than one. What are you doing? And obviously that was the point of getting Rue, but I'm just nervous for like the initial meeting. I know eventually they're going to be best friends, hopefully, but I'm scared for like the initial because Rue's a puppy and she's all up in per people's personal space and I don't know if Winnie's going to love that. She also, um, Rue is a little bit aggressive when it comes to like sharing food and stuff and I'm trying to break that habit immediately. Winnie was never like that, so I've kind of been doing research on what to do, but if you guys know any tips or tricks about like dogs being aggressive towards like sharing food or like being territorial over food or treats or snacks or whatever please comment below because i need some help with that there's a cute dog there's a cute dog there's a cute dog there's a cute dog it's more hey let's show them how you can sit ready hey sit good job I got my bag. I brought my laptop in case I needed to answer emails or something. I've got my water. I just got this coffee yesterday, you guys, and it is so good. I'm sure there's sugar in it, like I'm 100% sure, but it is so good. It's like a pumpkin flavored cold brew. I love the stock cold brew. This broken nail is really killing the vibe of my hand tattoos, but this combo together, you guys, has been incredible. I do ice with this and then I do like a splash of this sweet cream and it's just so good so I'm gonna make that for the car ride also got some pretty fall flowers yesterday from Trader Joe's I'm obsessed with them don't get an ice cube every time I open the fridge love you can't have an ice cube every time someone opens the fridge that would be crazy that would be absolutely crazy it's so funny because Rue follows me around this house literally everywhere so this is what it looks like you can honestly drink it plain but 
that's how good it is, but I really love this sweet cream. But anyways, Rue follows me around this house like absolutely crazy and it's so funny because I'm just not used to a dog following me around. And it's cute. I wonder if Winnie will start following us around the house. I like feel like I highly doubt it, but there's always hoping. <laughs> Rue had her vet appointment yesterday. The vet said like 80 to 90 pounds. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's almost two of Winnie. So you're gonna be a big girl. One of you guys actually sent me a DM and have a same doodle and sent me a picture of them at 11 weeks which is what rue is right now and then a picture at six months and it was literally like this was 11 weeks and it was like this at six months how are you gonna grow that fast that is really 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 fast that's gonna be crazy what are you gonna be for halloween you're gonna grow out of your halloween costume what do you want to be for halloween a giant <laughs> Tell her mom about someone new. Winnie! Hi! I missed you, Winnie! Hey! Hey, Oliver! <laughs> you guys, this has been a day from hell. <laughs> but Winnie's back with us, that's all that matters. Winnie got a little thick at grandma's house, right? Say, so grandma fed me a little bit too much food, right? We have been in the car since 10 o'clock this morning. It is currently, <sighs> you guys, why do I put too much on my plate? Um, what even time is it? I need to start my car. I feel like Winnie doesn't even think that I'm her owner anymore. Thinks she's obsessed with my dad and thinks that my dad is her owner. Winnie, I'm sorry, but I am your owner. It is 5.41 and I still have two hours and 20 minutes and it's supposed to only be a three hour drive. So total, I was supposed to be in the car for six hours. It's taken me almost just alone six hours to get back because there's been two accidents, rush hour traffic, like it's been a nightmare and it's my fault. I should have left earlier, but I literally couldn't. Like I woke up, I had to feed Rue breakfast and stuff and get some work stuff filmed. And so I left when I could and I did what I could. So anyways, we've been in the car for so long. I haven't even ate like a proper meal today. I've had a coffee, a bag of chips and this water and it's five o'clock. So when I get home, I need to like make something to eat. I'm so hungry. And when I introduce Winnie and Rue, it's gonna be like dark outside, I'm pretty sure. So that stinks, but I'll carry the vlog into tomorrow. I wanna like try taking them on a walk together and like doing fun stuff, us three together. Cause Dylan will be at work, but Winnie. Are you excited to meet your sister, Rue? She's kind of bad. But maybe you could teach her to be like you. Because you're really a good dog. You're a really good girl, Winnie. I missed you so much. My heart feels like full again, having Winnie back with me. I missed her so much. The last time I saw Winnie was when I was in Florida. I left Winnie with my mom because Dylan and I went to Hawaii and then trips just kept adding up but I am going to be staying put for a while I think I've learned the hard way that I've been like running myself into the ground and overloading my plate so I was supposed to go to Disney this weekend actually in the car like just an hour ago I called Dylan's mom and just told her I wasn't going to be able to work because with the puppy and with Winnie and with work and if Dylan's traveling for football like Dylan isn't home and it's been honestly really really hard to like live day-to-day -day life without Dylan I like miss him so much and it's hard because during the day it's like I am working now taking care of the puppy Winnie trying to like keep up with the house like do all that stuff and like I'm not complaining I'm so thankful that I work from home and do what I do to be able to like do those things but I've realized that there's things that I could load off of my plate to make my life a little bit simpler right now especially with it being football season so you know, I, I learned the hard way, but I eventually will learn, so. Come on, over here, Winnie. I think what I'm gonna do is put Winnie outside first. I know, Winnie, there's been a lot of dogs in here misbehaving. Come here, love, come on. I don't know why I'm so nervous, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go get Rue, and then, yeah, I'm gonna go get Rue quick. You guys, I'm like nervous. Okay, wait, okay, Winnie. 
watching your sister. Come here. Come here. Look. No, Winnie, Winnie. She'll be nice to you. Look, Winnie's like scared of her, you guys. <laughs> Why did I know this was gonna go bad? Rue, go play with Winnie. She's your sister. Let her go around the corner. She gets a little scared at doing that. Getting ready, I have some content I need to film today. I'm gonna do a little haul. I need to get an Instagram picture for a brand, all that good stuff. But my top priority is getting these dogs in check. So I stopped vlogging last night as you guys saw because obviously didn't go as planned. I was hoping for like a um tiktok moment where the dogs meet and they're like best friends and when he loves it and thinks it's her baby but i think the way that it panned out it just it just didn't work like that because rue was already at the house and when he came home to rue's scent which i know i shouldn't have done but there was like literally like just with how timing worked out and like timing of my life that's just what needed to happen so i'm like fully aware of the situation i posted last night like help what do i do introducing a new dog into a house and a lot of you guys were like you should have thought about this before don't get another dog you're not ready for another dog like all this like kind of hateful things and i'm just kind of like i feel like i've raised winnie fine and i know that the second dog i will do just that um whatever it takes, however long it takes, I know that I am like ready for another dog, Dylan and I. And so, I don't know. I feel like people just say such hateful things on the internet and sometimes I like let it get to me and then sometimes I don't. But um, last night I was kind of just like, people were saying like, well, you've already screwed up because you've done this, this, this wrong and blah, blah, blah. But then a lot of you guys were really, really helpful. Some of you guys are even like pet trainers and were offering me tons of advice and things to do. So definitely gonna use those tips and tricks and see. I obviously know like over time it will get better. Like it was new to Winnie. She had been out of the house for a long time, came back to the house and there was a new puppy in the house. So I know that it's just gonna take some adjusting to do so. I can already kind of see Winnie like wanting to be a little bit more interested in her like this morning she was sniffing her crate wanting to be around her last night she like Winnie slept on the end of our bed and she like stared into Rue's crate she was like kind of wondering like oh like I guess she's here to stay um so I think with time it'll get better but I just wanted to inform you guys why I stopped vlogging last night I honestly like got really emotional and I was like, oh no, what have I done? Have I made the wrong choice? All this stuff. And yeah, I think it'll get better with time. I think I was just always so used to Winnie being so good at everything and like just adjusting easily to like our lives. Um, and I just, I think I need to learn to adjust to Ruse for a little bit, but I don't want to change the way that I, like, Winnie's life is. Like, I want Winnie's life to stay how it is because she's done nothing wrong and Rue needs to match that. So, that's what we're working on. Like I said, I was supposed to go to Disney World this weekend. I canceled that because I'm realizing, like, I need to stay home with these dogs and I need to, like, get them on track. Rue is almost potty trained. Um, I have to kind of like watch her, but she knows like when she goes outside, she goes pee and poop, and so that's good. Um, it's just like the aggression towards like sharing food and toys that I'm kind of working on. So if you have any tips for that, let me know. But all is good. She's eating. One of you guys told me to let her eat in her crate, which some of you guys also were telling me that eating in their crate is bad because it causes aggression, but a lot of people said it was good, and I also researched and said it was good. So it's hard when you 
I feel like this is like the last thing I'm gonna say and I'm leaving it at that. It's hard when you introduce something new in your life to the world, like to social media, because everyone has opinions on everything. And it's hard because you're hearing both sides and you're kind of like, I don't know what to do. Like it honestly makes me nervous to have a kid and put my kid out on social media because it's like there's so many things that people are telling you that you're doing right or you're doing wrong or you should do it this way or you should buy this to do this and all this stuff. So it's kind of hard to like want to share your life after that stuff happens. So um, yeah, I think that's just a whole new ballpark of something that I have to work on and like get over. But I just wish sometimes people would be kind because it's like, what is the point of like dictating someone's life over, over social media? Like I'm obviously trying my best here and I'm sure not everything that you do in your life, you do perfect either. Like if you had 60,000 people watching you, people would critique how you're doing. So, and I get that and I get that I put my life out there to be critiqued, but sometimes it just makes it a little bit hard. Um, to like know what to do right. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm making any sense, but anyways, Winnie is eating downstairs. Hopefully she's eating. She ate dinner last night, so that was a good sign because she's always been like a little nervous eater. Um, Rue is demolishing her food in the crate. I actually got her one of those bowls that makes it harder for them to eat the food, like, because she would inhale her food. So I actually saved the bowl that Winnie used as a puppy. So Rue is using that now in her crate. I need to get dressed and change. The shirt is like so dirty and full of like toothpaste and stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna go make a coffee, chill for a little bit, and then I'm gonna get ready to start filming some content for work, get my fashion week vlog up. Packaging the mail from Revolve and Ford, and I think it's the, I got the new line from Elsa Haas named Helsa, I believe is the name of the company. No, can't have that. I'm like on a high alert now with puppy. Um, and I, this is the second order I placed. I tried to get as many pieces as I could before it sold out. So I got a few others that came a few days ago that are already upstairs, but I just got this pair of like slate colored cargo pants. These are so cute. Her stuff runs really big. I'm sure they'll be restocking it. They sell it on Forward and on Revolve, and then she has a website. Um, but I wear everything in a small because her stuff runs really oversized, so I really love those pants. And then I think this is... I got the matching shirt, but I think that it might have shipped separately. And then I got, I'm so excited about this dress. I thought this would be really pretty for Thanksgiving. Actually doing Thanksgiving at um, our house this year, my mom and dad and Danny, Emily, Sarah Carson, and then I think Dylan's family will come up for the game because Dylan has a home game Thanksgiving weekend. But look at how beautiful this long, just no, 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 no. Go get a toy. These are the things that I'm saying. I didn't have to deal with any of this with Winnie. Um, long, pretty, tan, cashmere dress that goes all the way to the floor. And I thought this would look really cute with like some loafers or boots. And it's one size fits most, I believe. Yeah, one size. And it's just so cute. I love like big baggy clothes. I feel so comfortable and confident in them. Opposed to like a tight little mini outfit. I just love oversized clothing i don't know what it is about it i just feel so i feel like really confident and like powerful when i wear oversized that's like when i order lulu i get like a size up in the shirts because i just like to be comfy and i feel cuter okay i've got a water bottle toy and then i also got a belt from her because i got like a white button-up shirt and she had it styled with this belt and it looked stunning and i don't really have many belts but i really love belts so I'm trying to grow my... Rue, can we not with the water bottle toy? You have 50 million other toys. Winnie's just sitting on the couch like, what is this dog doing? This little belt, and I thought I could do it up high on the waist. It's like a perfect... I'll show you. Perfect little waist belt. I feel like it's hard to find tiny enough belts. I got this in a size small. They do extra small too, but... 
so cute the white button up or honestly you could even belt that dress it would be really cute to give your body more shape hang on i'm gonna go whip my dog really quick with this belt. <laughs> Rue, do you want to have this belt to your bottom that's what my dad used to do to scare us he would go like this wait go like this and you go Oh, sorry, Winnie, did that scare you? I'm sorry, Winnie, I love you. Coffee. I need to go recurl my hair and film a little vlog. Or, no, not a vlog. What am I talking about? A haul. You guys look at Winnie. <laughs> this is a perfect gift to unbox for our video. This is all for you puppies. I'm so excited. Lily's mom and dad own this company called Buckbone Organics, and it's where all the dogs... Well, I guess Winnie, but now Rue uses them too. All their bones are from, and they sent over a little PR package. So I wanted to unbox it with you guys because I'm so excited. All right, let's see what we got. Lily's parents are the best. So she gave me a large elk box bundle for Winnie and a medium split elk box bundle for Rue. Okay, how exciting, we should take a picture. Come sit right here, Rue. <laughs> Look, that's nice, Winnie. Okay, let's see what's in your boxes. Rue, this is your first PR box, just for you. Winnie's already gotten a few, so she's a little bit ahead of you. Excuse me, this is a knife. Wow. Wow. You guys, Winnie still is, um, I know we've only had Rue here for a day with Winnie, but Winnie is still uninterested in the hardwood floors, which is fine, Winnie. It's okay. Everyone has their everyone has their vice in life. <laughs> Got some treats. <laughs> you got some. Look. Look at the You got some gifts. Guys are sharing very good. It's a very nice dog. Good girl. Please look at how stinking cute the dog bowls have their names on them. Winnie and Rue. It's so cute. Thank you so much to Buckbone Organics. I will put their link in the description. They have so many good things, and the dogs are obsessed with their stuff. Back home, I just threw on a little comfy outfit from what I was wearing. Um, and we're gonna try to take the dogs on a walk <laughs> and let's see how it goes. I'm just wearing a, I wanna do a little outfit cause I love, this is like one of my go-to outfits, little shoes and ankle socks. And then these are the Lululemon biker shorts. So good, I wear a size four or six. And then this is the white t-shirt that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video. I also ran and got a coffee. I was out doing errands. Um, the house cleaners were here and I feel so bad because Rue was in her crate and I'm sure she was probably crying almost the whole time. But I want to take the dogs on a walk because I wanna get a workout in and I also know that a lot of you guys suggested doing short little walks here and there because I think it will help. Like look, Winnie is so excited to go on a walk. Okay, let's go. Rue, what are you eating? Why, how do you always find something to eat? You're gonna be really overweight. <laughs> All right, so Winnie's gonna go on this leash. Winnie, this is gonna be your leash, okay? You're gonna have the best leash. And then Rue, you have to learn how to walk on the leash like Winnie, okay? So this is what you do. See Winnie, watch Winnie, see? Okay, I'm gonna bring my phone. Look at her. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my phone so I don't have so much in my hand, but let's wish us the best of luck. Wow, look at you guys. That's so nice, Winnie. <laughs> Winnie's like, let's go. are back from the walk. I'm gonna make a little avocado toast. It's like around 2.30. So a little late lunch before dinner. I don't think Dylan's gonna be home for dinner again tonight. Tomorrow night is normally his early night. I bought some like steak and veggies and stuff. So I'll probably save that for tomorrow. We can do like a little steak dinner. 
So I don't know what I'm gonna eat tonight, but I'll figure that out. But I'm gonna do avocado toast right now. I have this perfectly ripe avocado and I have some fresh tomatoes. I'm gonna put it on top. I've been like so into tomatoes, which is so weird because I used to hate tomatoes when I was little. Now I'm not little anymore. <laughs> some salt and pepper. A little fresh squeeze. It makes it so yummy. I'm also trying out a new sourdough bread. This one looked good and it seemed a little bit softer. I feel like the, I think it's an orange packaging from Trader Joe's. It's the one I always used to love to get, but every time I get it, I feel like it gets so stale quickly and it almost looks like it's like wheat sourdough bread. So I got this one. So hopefully that's good. Here is my little mixture. And then I'm gonna slice some tomatoes and put it on top. I would say that there was progress on Winnie and Rue's relationship on the walk. Winnie let her like walk beside her, which was good. Rue. Hey, I'll get it for you. Winnie just still seems a little uninterested, which is fine. It hasn't even been 24 hours, but I don't see any signs of aggression of either one. So that's good, it makes me feel better. I feel like it just is gonna take time, which I'm sure all you guys will be commenting in the DM, so. Do everything but the bagel on one, salt and pepper, and a little bit on the tomatoes. I'm gonna do one more squeeze. Lemon. Of glow.